Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're doing a class in the 30 day body hacking program and today's class is exciting in a very relaxing way. <laughs> uh, so uh, today's class is 478 breath, a breathing practice that is called a relaxation practice. Um, it is called calm alert breath. It is called um, a breath that can help you, it can, it can induce sleep, it can help you fall asleep, it can help you relax, and it can help you focus um, so that you are not um, 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 spazzy, but you're calm and alert and you can approach tasks in a very focused but calm way. Um, hello, uh, cupcake. <laughs> so um, for today's breath, it's very simple. We're gonna do our, our, we're gonna do some movement, and we're going to start and finish with the breath. And um, this breath is set to um, to increase your heart rate variability, which is um, in general can improve your tolerance to stress. You operate better under stress. It can um, uh, imp yeah, improve cognition. I was almost gonna forget about that. And it's overall, it improves health, of course. Um, and it can be called jitter-free. So um, I've had a class like this that was more vinyasa-based class and it was called Calm Alert on my website uh, from, um, I wanna say 2021. Uh, so, um, we're gonna do it in a little shorter um, format here so that it's very accessible and you can approach this class whenever you want to. And also take this class off of the mat, take this uh, technique off of the mat whenever you need to fall asleep or to focus or to calm down. Uh, when we, um, so when we um, inhale, uh, we activate the sympathetic nervous system, so which is um, uh, the more the stress response. Um, and when we exhale, we activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is rest and digest. Um, uh, so um, when we have the, the breath, I will explain more about the breath in a, just a second when we begin. Uh, but when we focus a little more on the exhalation, we, uh, we tend to activate more the parasympathetic nervous system. But because we're also slowing down the inhalation, we are, um, we are staying alert, but at the same time we're really calming down and allowing to shift into a parasympathetic, allowing ourselves to shift, shift into a parasympathetic state. Um, um, people who have um, uh, higher increased uh, heart rate variability uh, have our, um, there is a bunch of studies on this done, they, are, they have lower chronic stress levels uh, and um, as I mentioned, improve cognition. It in general improves our uh, overall health, of course, because breath is everything. And um, I started taking notes so that I don't I don't talk forever and just uh, keep on um, on point. But yeah, here I see my note. Um, one thing that I've noticed for myself that really has helped me with memory. Um, and uh, with uh, focus, because I really like to study. I love studying. I love mental work. So I like writing, I write reading, I, li I, I, I like uh, traveling into concepts that are kind of complex. And I, I can always notice how sharp I am that day because I like really complicated subjects um, <clears throat> that are kind of a mix of spiritual and scientific, right? and or either one or both whatever is uh, the subject that i'm into researching at that time uh, and i've noticed that i started taking i will give you a guide with all these uh, classes i will have a link below with articles that are supplemental articles uh, but um and uh, with supplemental also activities that you can do uh, off of the math that are either proven to be very helpful, I swear by, etc. So one thing that has really helped me, and I'll link everything below, is boron supplementation. It has really helped me um, have consistent, focused mind energy. 
I've noticed that um, there is different uh, brands and supplements that have really good quality uh, one and I've noticed uh, really good cognition from that. I, I, I'm not sure about the memory. Memory I noticed the most from rosemary, uh, like the herb that you put on your food. Uh, I'm sure oil massage uh, would be also great for it's it's great for uh, hair, but it's also great for cognition and brain and all of that. Uh, but rosemary as an herb ingested also really good for memory, just really good for memory. Anyways, so breath of course is one of those things that is always readily um, accessible for us. We can do it anywhere, and this one in particular can really calm you down. So. I already did one class, I don't know how I'm going to put them up uh, in what order. I did a class for anxiety that was based on more Kapalabhati breath, which is, it's, it's not hyperventilation, but it kind of sounds like it, but it's more deep, rapid breathing. So it still oxygenates and really teaches the lungs how to, teaches us how to use the lungs uh, better. Uh, breath of fire. So that's one way to relieve stress. Today we're gonna take another route for relieving stress or creating focused energy, focus, focus mind energy, a calm state, a calm alert state. If you fall asleep, <laughs> that's just a bonus. <laughs> All right, so remember to flow with love, strength and ease. We're going to start standing, I love standing, even for a calming class. We're gonna finish off on the floor, so don't worry. Um, but you can come back to this class outside of the 30-day program and use this class uh, whenever you wanna calm down, in the evening, on your rest day. You're just going to move side to side, sway in motion, and include your arms. I want you to start using your muscles and joints and. I find this particular um, type of move to also be a massage for the back because you're using your back muscles to move the arms. So we're warming up the back. We're also learning to connect to the muscles. And take just a regular deep breath for now. And we're going to deepen the moves now, so reach side to side over the head. Breathe through the nose. Breath is one of those things that we can access for free at any time. And also, um, I do love certain um, things such as red light therapy and magnetic pulse. Um, and I'll share those things in the articles and supplemental literature, but those things are um, tools, the props. When it comes to breath, that's one of the most powerful tools we can utilize in our day-to-day -day life and practice. All right, from here I want, I want you to just twist side to side and also spin onto your toes. Hands in front of the chest and the elbows are guiding your twist. Slow down the breath even further. Gliding um, the gaze over the arms, so you're following the movement and softening the gaze. Great, from here we're gonna do a few shoulder rows. Stepping at the front of the mat and shift your weight onto the right leg and we're going to keep the right knee slightly bent and you're going to reach back a modified warrior tree or a modified dance pose and from here again balancing because I can't help myself we gotta balance and we're, I want you to round your back and pull your knee in. That's something I've already um, done a lot in the December Second Heart program. And again, reach here, hinging at the hips and 
draw it in because core is really important in stabilizing yourself spiritually uh, when you see anatomically the core stabilizes us connects the top with the bottom etc so spiritually it's also a very stabilizing force if you work on strengthening the so-called core that only can be understood in a very holistic way we can break it down just as a, a few muscles it's not that it's it's also the fascia the connection so reach back round your back and and really draw draw here lift and draw lifting the lower belly one last and opposite side take the right leg behind you lift bring it in one try to breathe through the nose great one last beautiful from here we're going to stand on the right leg and have a soft knee and circle draw a circle with your toes on the left and bring it into into a cross back but not lunge so belly, <laughs> toes on the ground, top of the top of the foot on the ground, and stretch it here, and reverse it, and again. Two, last one, three. Change, nice circular motion. Um, circular movement is a category of its own like fluid movement circular movement has its own holds its own category Ooh, great stepping back onto the right leg now we're gonna draw a circle but this time step it back into into a cross back lunge and from here lift onto the tippy toes i had to include the <laughs> the second heart and again cross fire here hold the breath in a steady pattern lift Three, core, I want you to use your core. Four, five, six, core, seven, eight, nine, ten, and chain sides. We have a full on bath happening I hope they don't do anything weird behind me one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten 
stepping at the front bring your hands over the heart and you can close your eyes for a moment too in order to observe your breath all right open the eyes <laughs> and you know what at some point in the future not in the 30 day series because this one i want it to be for all levels <laughs> but we're gonna do some of this real funny complicated balancing stuff with the eyes closed take it to a whole new level of self-exploration and also balance exploration all right so um, please continue with your calm slow uh, conscious breath the breath is one of those tools that we through uh, conscious awareness of the breath can shift functions in the body, physical functions in the body. We can also affect um, uh, our emotional and mental state. We can affect also the quality of our thoughts, what, what frequency we are bringing, operating on. So thoughts are just highways of frequencies, bands of frequencies. We don't create thoughts with, in our brain, we tap, the brain is the radio station, the um, antenna that, or the radio station really that taps into the frequency of thought and can download it and translate it into human language. So the, band, the frequencies are massive, we're working with a very narrow band of frequencies. And when we breathe, we improve the apparatus <laughs> that connects to thought because I know that when we come from a materialistic culture saying that breath is can hold ideas or thought or the air can hold ideas this is just outrageous and I get it because science is probably 100 years out of like figuring out how to prove that right and a lot of people are in that materialistic state where only the proven exists and I think there has to be a marriage <laughs> between our humility that we don't know it all and also what we know use it with wisdom all right that was your breathing <laughs> moment and we're going to uh, shift the weight onto the right leg bring your arms in front of you take a back lunge and here you're going to lift the um, left leg in front of you either just the knee or the whole left and come onto the tippy toes now the tippy toes it's also optional but try two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and we're gonna change sides one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten great inhale reach over the head arch look up exhale dive down shake the head inhale look ahead and on to all fours big breath in arch cat cow slow exhalation one more great and sit onto your bums in a comfortable position on a pillow on on one of those elevated pillows or on a block on the floor here I don't have any props. This is not my final location. 
uh, I don't have a, my perfect <laughs> setting, but um, I found that perfection is never achieved. When we wait for perfection, we're just procrastinating and everything has to be done with the conditions that we have. And sometimes from the struggle of imperfection, we pull on the greatest <laughs> downloads or the greatest self-discoveries. Anyway, so we're gonna get into that breath. Four, seven, eight. So as the breath implies, you're going to, and don't be very, uh, don't be perfectionist about the breath. Make sure that the breath feels easy within your flow, the way it flows in and out. And inhale for the count of four, hold for the count of seven, exhale for the count of eight. I want you to feel this breath in a seated position and after that we're gonna also lay down. So it is going to be a calming ending to the class. I want you to walk away from here calm alert or calm, that's okay. Either I'll take either one of those two and we're gonna begin. Do it at your own guidance because it is good to focus. When you're counting your own breath, that alone is a big portion of why pranayama is so powerful. Uh, just the, um, the, the in, just that attention on an internal process in the body. Interoception, sometimes noticing how functions and organs in the body work, it's a different state of consciousness, a different state of brainwave, of awareness. So um, counting your own breath, focus on four, seven, eight, and, and just breathe for a few moments here for a few minutes and then we'll move on to the floor, on, laying on the floor. And whenever you're ready, lay down. We're going to go ahead and do a couple of vacuums. So you're going to lift Malabanda, lift the pelvic floor, uh, engage Malabanda, lift the, the lower belly muscles. So there is this as you connect there you feel a lift and you draw the belly button in in and up you draw the transverse abdominis inward like a corset is pulling inward and closing in like a corset and cinching in that's your own inner corset and 
and release one more i want you to connect your core uh, because again um, develop, uh, building a strong core has a lot to do with um, uh, feeling more confident in life the core is also part of the core is the solar plexus as mm, confidence so it's important Mulabanda is being uh, safe on earth so that's a form of confidence being confident that you're supported uh, that the earth got you or the energies of of existence got you in a physical way and um, connecting to the um, also second chakra which is the reproductive system your capacity to uh, to create that is the, your uh, physical creativity center when you output things into a, uh, in, into a material form you materialize from the second center uh, so the core is really important in a very in a very straightforward physical way but also in a spiritual way and because the two are the same anyways we just tend to fragment how we understand reality we say spiritual and physical and um, all these things we say we're a spiritual being in a physical form but we are those are all the same things we are seeing things one and the same thing, thing expressed in layers of perceived reality so a lot of releasing the old is releasing the fears fears are stored in the first chakras especially the first chakra and if we hold fear that holds us back um, Dolores Cannon has a quote that says that says what do we need in order to move into the new earth to new humanity what do we need to do and she says release fear and let go of the karma so we have to heal the karma let it go release it because a lot of those things are perceptual or it's the attachment it's it's the level of consciousness we operate from and fear fear is the work of the dark forces it's it's meant to hold us back into old earth so if you want to move forward be propelled forward move forward in conscious evolution we're always ev evolving consciously but right now we're at a big turning point as a humanity as a collective consciousness and fear is one of those things that we have to release so all this practice of self-knowing of turning inward is very important of, um, of paying attention to the self and releasing the layers of the old so that you're bright and beautiful and crystal here at this moment you're beyond healed and beyond whole you're crystalline and beautiful uh, beyond um, beyond measure so as we work on this whole core part of the physical and spiritual mental and emotional body we release fear because we find we ground ourselves and we find our foundation we connect to it everything is already there we're just either releasing the covers the layers that hide it from us or finding the pathway to it to it so okay, one more stomach vacuum release and we'll do one more and then visualize yourself in the stomach vacuum vacuum represents the stomach vacuum represents emptiness in that emptiness the new can be uh, conceived it's a good analogy because the conception organs um, uh, for conceiving are obviously in that same area so conceiving the new from the emptiness the vacuum that we create there is um, we we let go of the fear which is what is meant to anchor us into the old into the dirtier frequencies lower frequencies but also fear 
is the lack of faith. And ultimately, and faith, faith is a whole other. We're working with the heart chakras here. Now when we speak of faith, is above the heart chakra. So we're preparing such beautiful foundation when we release fear and we ground. You see how they all work together. You cannot just say, but have faith. You have to, you have to connect to the earth, develop the heart, and, and then our faith strengthens. So one more vacuum, sorry for this lyrical. Great. And we'll continue with the four, seven, eight breath. So do it at a comfortable pace for yourself, inhaling at, um, at the count of four, holding for the count of seven, exhaling at the count of eight. Or so, you know, this is not, you know, you don't have to split the seconds here, just um, at an easy pace, do it and focus. Uh, uh, focus your mind on following your breath and counting. That's part of the, the therapy here. The therapeutic nature of this is uh, you counting it. I know that a lot of people are very analytical with a very precise mind and they want a counter on the screen. And I could, I could do that for certain classes, but really, uh, let's, let's really benefit from just focusing and counting the breath ourselves. And please continue for as long as you need to at your own pace, or you can also wrap it up uh, now if you feel impatient or done, or if you feel good, <laughs> you can also finish now, or you can continue for a few more uh, minutes. And any supplemental material will be below the video. And I will see you, of course, tomorrow with a lot more fun and a lot more self self care self love self love that spills over and remember to flow with love strength and ease